Hey guys, what's going on? What are you doing? I wanted to make a quick video to help you guys out a little bit on basically my top five peripheral aquascaping, like the most needed things, peripherally aquascaping accessories, I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> accessories come in many shapes and forms, but these are my top five, which I figured Hey, I'd let you guys know some of this weird peripheral stuff that I use on a regular basis. I use these all the time. So let's jump into them a little bit and talk about some of the stuff. Now, first things first, I did mention in a video a little while ago, I wanted to tell you guys about the thing that I have found to be the, like the most useful tool. This is it right here, the Werner 300 pound professional grade. What is this thing? It's like a drywall um, stand. I don't know. It's like a utility stand for construction workers. Now here's the thing that's so big time about this. So yeah, as you can see here, it's 45 inches long, right? 12 inches front to back and 20 inches high. So it has these little steps on the side, like the, you can break down the legs and all that kind of stuff. But here's the big deal, like getting into my aquariums is so problematic, but check this out. I have this big workspace that I'm able to get up here and just work in the aquarium really without like killing my back and not really like having real problems reaching in here. You know, my tanks are, are tall enough up that if I try to reach in them from down here, I can't reach the bottom, you know? So that's a, that's a problem, right? Now this thing comes in super handy. It was like 60 bucks or something like that. Now I used to use that stool right there and that stool is pretty good, right? Like let's not complain too much about that stool, but it is nothing compared to this. This is a beauty. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I use it all the time. Now, let's talk about the next peripheral thing. Because my hands are constantly wet all the time, I need a good towel. Now, I had to get this one from Dennerlay. Um, I had to bring it all the way back from, from Germany. You know what I'm saying? Uh, any towel will really work. You can go to Home Depot or something like that and just buy a bag of towels. Just make sure that you're using them to dry them off and always putting them into the wash and not uh, cross circulating them and stuff. But towel, Home Depot. Stand like this for aquascaping, invaluable. I got mine at Home Depot. You could probably get it on Amazon, something like that. I'll post some Amazon links down below of the stuff that I'm specifically talking about. Obviously the Dennerlay towels, I don't know where to get those other than going to Germany <laughs> for them, but you know, you know what I'm saying, you, you, but you catch my drift, right? So, okay, so we got that. This is like number one by far. This thing, standing on this thing is awesome. Okay, now the next thing, this is a weird thing. It is a 12 quart container, as you can see. And um, a lot of the international community have asked me, what is a QT? <laughs> like what's a quart? Well, here you go. There's an L right here, liters. So that's how much a 10 liters is. This is 12 quarts. So it's about 12 liters. They're not that far off. You know, here's four quarts, here's five liters. You get the idea, right? So you got metric on this side. You got standard on this side. Uh, this thing is machine washable. Like, so you can put it in the dishwasher to sanitize it. You can put bleach sitting in this all day long. I use this for all of my clippings and like filter floss material, I'll take it out and put them in here. Like I said, because this thing, not only I can do measurements with it and keep track of like what's going on, you could fill up with water and do like little water changes or you could, um, you know, use this to sanitize plants that you got in. So like, let's say you got some plants in and you wanted to do a dip. This has some measurements on it. So you can go like, oh, I've got four quarts of water I need x amount of whatever you know like if you're going to do snail x or something like that 
You can do all that kind of stuff with this and completely clean it, sanitize it, no problem. This is uh, brought to you by Cambros. Cambro makes these and they make them in all sorts of different sizes and stuff. I'm not gonna say that this thing is indestructible, but it's virtually indestructible. People will be like, why does this thing cost $22? It's made for restaurants. So it's made for restaurant abuse, you know? So a lot of uh, people in kitchens and stuff will be using that and um, they last a really long time. I think you have to buy the lids separately. I have them around here somewhere. I don't know where. I rarely use the lids, but you can also use this to store a bunch of stuff too. So like, let's say you had some driftwood, rocks, whatever, maybe some extra substrate or whatever. These work awesome for storage. That's what they're designed to do. So that works awesome. Now, another thing that is new here, some people would say the aquascaping tools. The aquascaping tools, I think, are a little bit obvious. You know, those would be like in the necessary front. We're sort of in the peripheral stuff that you could be using on a regular basis, right? And that is this magnetic knife holder. So what this is for, it's designed for holding a, you know, your knives up on the wall. Now, the, this is the super cheap version of it that I got four of these off of Amazon for $11, right? So very minimal investment. You just can screw it into whatever. Obviously I made this stand, so I don't really care about having screwed something into it. I can always just patch it. It's not a big deal and restain it if I want. But I have uh, these all around. Like I have another one down there that's holding some scissors and a fly swatter. It's that time of year, guys. We get flies, it happens. Um, but these all around so that these kind of tools and things like this aren't laying in water or anything like that so they don't get rusty because you use them and they do have water on them. This helps them to drain off and also keep track of them. So I think this is something that I think anybody out there could spend $11, $15 on whatever for a bunch of them. Uh, like I said, this is the super cheap kind. You could buy the fancy kind if you like, if you're feeling fancy, but I'm a cheapskate. So I went for the cheap ones because I would rather have a bunch of cheap ones than one really, really fancy one. Now these peripherals right here, so we got one, two, three, four, and I was gonna say top five, but it's kind of a split between these two right here. Now, this right here is a laser thermometer. Uh, so it'll give you an infrared reading of like what the temperature is, wherever you're pointing this thing at. As you can see, it's pretty warm in here because it's summertime and I can actually point it into the tank, but bear in mind, you gotta do this from up here in the water. If you do it through the glass or through the acrylic, you'll get a misreading from it. It'll give you the wrong temperature. Uh, this time of year is not that big of a deal because uh, we're just basically checking on what's going on. Uh, and you know, we can see, like we go over here and this stuff is 76. For whatever reason, this thing is 83. <laughs> I don't know why. How much is, how warm is my water? Uh, let's see, my water is 80 degrees. Uh, I got this off of Amazon a long, long time ago. Um, I don't know how long ago I got it for, uh, but recently I had to look for another one and I think it was like $11, but this is the best way to go around and get an active temperature on things like you can get a temperature on the wall, like it's actually really warm out today. So the wall's 85, this one's 86. That one over there, oh, let's see. Don't lose focus, 83. You know, so you can get an idea of what all the temperatures are. And that is incredibly helpful and very fast. This last thing right here is actually for plumbing. This is for trimming uh, PEX, line for plumbing and stuff. Uh, this thing is like 14 bucks at the local hardware store. This one happens to be a Husky. So shout out to Home Depot. If you wanna, if you wanna sponsor this channel, you, you can. Home Depot, what are, you, what are you doing Home Depot? Anyhow, uh, this thing will cut everything from driftwood twigs to uh, any kind of piping that fits in it. Uh, it's heavy duty piping you'll kind of struggle with, but it'll still cut it. The blade you can change it, you know, you can get the, uh, you can change these blades out for, for new sharp ones, stuff like that. Uh, airline, any of that kind of stuff. This is way better than scissors. 
uh, and does not only does it do a better job, but you don't end up ruining somebody's scissors, uh, screwing around cutting stuff. Because like I said, these little blades, you can get new ones and pop them in here uh, if you chip or screw up. This one happens to be a pretty new blade, so you can see how good it is. All right, well, there's my top five plus one. Top five plus one aquascaping peripheral tools. I don't know. Does this help you out? Does this help you out? Is this a video? I think this is a YouTube video, right? I don't know. You might be trying to get some stuff. You might be trying to find something that, that's like, oh, I'm having a problem. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, cool. If not, that's cool too. Thanks for watching. Later.